What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about the essentials that every new barber or student should have in the arsenal. Glad to have you guys back. My name is David Fala. For those that don't know who I am, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to talk about the like, tools that I feel that are necessary for barber to start. I mean, there's a million tools, different things you can get, but I, I think I'm going to try to just narrow it down to the basic, the more basic ones that everybody needs just to start cutting hair. And then always from there, you can obviously add more to the arsenal if that's something that you want, right? But I think that sometimes that you see a lot of barbers, including myself, that we cut with so many machines and so many different tools that sometimes I feel that you guys think that you guys need all that to cut. In reality, you don't. Like, you know, when I started cutting hair I started cutting with one machine and I barely had a cape I had to put like a towel on top of people it was a disaster but anyway guys I'm gonna show you I'm gonna start with the tools and machines that I feel that we need as barbers just to start in this industry right now there's so many options on the market of why you can get a hair clippers there's so many companies that end this wall uh, you have uh, Beverly's you have Oster you have an JRL, you have so many options now of what clipper you, should, you can get, but I feel like, you know what, like you should get what you think that works best for you. There's not one clipper that is better than the other, to be honest with you, it's just whatever you like. So in this case, we have, uh, this is what I've been using lately. You wanna get something that has a lever, just because it's gonna make it easier to kinda like uh, fade, you know, so you want the, the blade to go up and down, so it makes it easier to fade, so that's something that, that I feel everybody should have. So this will be, I mean, uh, right now this is a cordless one. You don't have to get a cordless one. I like cordless, that's what I've been using for the past like, year and a half, I would say. I don't like the cords, this is just my personal preference. But if you if you like cords, that's fine too. Uh, cordless clippers work very well, so you know, it's up to you, whatever you decide. The next machine we're gonna need is obviously a trimmer. Uh, this is a cordless trimmer. You don't, how I say, you don't have to get the cordless one. You can get the, uh, the one that, uh, that has a cord. With trimmers, I don't have that much experience. So what I can tell you is that either get an Andes or a wall. I mean, I know Bevelis makes good ones, but I I never used them before, so I wouldn't be able to tell you guys how good they are. I have used the wall detail, it's a great machine. I, I, this is my favorite one, this is the Andes T outliner. Now they made it cordless, so it's even better. So you know what, guys, get whatever you decide. Um, I'll say like whatever you feel com more comfortable with. For me, this is the best clipper around the market. That's just my opinion, but you know what? Get whatever you guys want. You just need one trimmer, one clipper. The next one you're gonna need is obviously a razor holder. Uh, this is one that I use. It's not a brand one. It's just a regular cheap one. It works very well. It does the job. So you don't have to spend all this money on, on, on razor holders. That They all do the same thing, to be honest with you. I mean, some of them are better quality than others, but that's about it. Like, you know, guys, you guys are really much paying the same thing for whatever you guys are getting. This is the one I use. You do need one because a lot of the men hair cutting or men barbering requires you to use a razor. So this is better than just grabbing the actual razor with, the, with your hand. You know, this is more professional. This is what the barbering has been all about, about using the razor to do shapes, to do hot towel shapes to do the shape up, to do lines, to do designs, all that stuff. So this is something that you need. Just get the basic one, you don't need to spend all this money on those expensive, fancy ones. Okay, this is the one tool that many barbers neglect. A lot of barbers don't get these tools and this is the most important tool nowadays in 2018 for barbering. These are shears or scissors, how they call them in other parts of the world. Here in the United States, we call them shears. Anyways, you need good shears, guys. Stop buying those $20 shears that don't even cut after two months. Okay, guys, this is what we need. Barbering is becoming a part of hairstyle, an extension of hairstyle, right? So we're combining the whole industry. Like, both industries are being combined now. So you're getting fades on the side and long shears on top. You're getting the crop tops, you're getting texture. You're getting like you're those uh, uh, round graduation, square right graduation. So we need good shears, guys. This is what I use. I use, uh, these are five and a half. I use this for when I'm cutting the top, you know, like, and, and I need some, some short shears so I can be more precise. You can also go ahead and use uh, longer shears. Many barbers use seven inch for scissor over comb or shear over comb. If you want to do that, you can do that. Also, I do that. I have two, two sets, I have one that's short, one long. You don't need both. You only need one. This, that's why this is the basic one. You just need one. I would recommend you something like this. 
and very important guys get good quality ones in this case these are sharp fin shears these are some of the best shears on the market as you guys know I'm, a, I'm one of the ambassadors for this company so I actually have a promotional code that I think is pretty cool because it's not like other companies that just give you money off what you get with sharp fin is actually you get the opportunity to get a second pair for free of the pro line so this is pretty cool because you buy some shears you get two two free so let's say like in case you bought the five and a half and you want longer shears then you can do that also so this is pretty cool you know like uh, this is a, a cool code that I think that I, for me to be part of a company I have to give be able to get something for you guys and this is this is the best I got with this company so I'm, I think that this is something that is gonna help you guys a lot so guys invest in good shears you need them Okay, the next thing that we need, we need combs. You need combs. You need a hair cutting comb with, to cut with scissors, and you need like a flat top comb just in case you want to do some clipper over comb or you want to do different things. These are the two that I, that I use. These are uh, Wyatt Sparks. They're a little expensive, but they're worth the price. This is uh, one styling comb by Oster. They're really good, two of my favorites. I'm actually gonna leave uh, the link of them in the description where you can get all this stuff because I know many of you wanna know where I get all my stuff and sometimes it's hard to go one place to the other. So I created like a little store where you can get all the stuff that I use. You can see what I use, for, even from camera stuff or the video for photos of all that stuff. I made that little nice store for you guys. So uh, I'm leaving the link in the description. This is one thing that every barber needs on the station. This is the Andy's Cool Care. Guys, you need to have this. This is gonna clean your machines. It's gonna disinfect your machines. It's gonna lubricate your machines. It's gonna avoid a rust in your, in your blades. It's gonna do so many things. And besides, guys, you need it for many reasons. One of those reasons is that stop being nasty, guys. Clean your machines, clean everything you use, guys. Like, in this industry, the number one thing is that you gotta be clean, right? A lot of barbers uh, always focus on, you know, like, how they look and the shoes they're wearing and how their fates are so nice and the car they drive and all that stuff you know cool guys but if you're a dirty barber nobody's gonna want to get a haircut with you so you know what guys clean your machines stop being nasty all the things that you need you need neck strips and you need a barber cape stop guys if you're a professional stop cutting putting towels and things for you around the uh, clients necks all right guys you guys are professional barbers use a cape Use an extra. Stop being nasty, guys. Use an extra. You know they're cheap. You can get them everywhere, and it's something that's gonna separate you from the, uh, you know, the ghetto barber from the next town, right? This is gonna make you different, cause clients appreciate when you sanitize everything, including uh, with the cape goes. So that was the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, like this is for those beginner barbers, those students, those people that are just starting out, the ones that are maybe, you know, how I started cutting in the basement, how I did, how many other barbers did, you know, for you guys, this is the basic tools that you need, I know you guys see a lot on Instagram, Facebook, barbers use just um, like 20,000 tools just to do one fade, but in reality, we just do it because it's convenient to us because we have machines set up one way to help us do one thing and another machine help us with all the things. So this is just something you create after you have a technique already set up and you've already been building you know, techniques for, for so long, for so many years. But at the beginning, you don't really need it. So I just wanted to make this video just to kind of show you guys what you need at the beginning. And then you can always add new things how I said at the beginning of the video. Uh, I'm gonna do like a part one, part two, part three type of thing video just because I think it's all the tools that might help you guys as well. But you might not need at the beginning but it might be helpful in the long term so this is something that you know you uh, I'm gonna work on that as well so that's the video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like the video if you guys enjoyed it leave me a comments below if I'm missing anything that you feel like I need to be need to be added to the video just let me know so I can kind of add it to the next video so please yeah guys leave me a comment below I'll see you guys on the next one take care